Pranks are supposed to be simple, harmless, funny, and mostly shocking. However, on YouTube, many pranks have broken the boundaries of shocking to borderline crazy and tragic. From simple jokes, these pranks escalated to child abuse, assault and battery, and even manslaughter. Families have been torn apart and people have lost loved ones to what should be simple pranks. This video will explore some pranks that had outcomes so tragic, it made people reconsider their life choices, starting with the subtle PS4 prank gone wrong. Pretty Boy Fredo was a prankster and gamer who had a thing for pulling various pranks on his girlfriend. Although some of them may have been unhinged, they were mostly wholesome and harmless. Nevertheless, the prankster's girlfriend thought she had to score one back. Her idea was simple. She'd throw his PS4 in the pool while keeping a new one on standby. After seeing his reaction, she'd tell him it was a prank and give him the new one, and he'd go back to gaming like nothing happened. The plan was wholesome. Hardly anything could go wrong. The f is wrong with you? F stupid! The f All my kids in there! Fuck this girl, man! God damn! Pretty Boy Fredo took pride in his gaming skills and his progress on NBA 2K. All of that was lost with his console. And his girlfriend, the innocent perpetrator, didn't even know PS4s had hard drives. This prank was tragic for the gamer and everyone that followed up his gaming because years of grinding were lost. However, as tragic as it may seem, Pretty Boy Fredo and his fans took the prank better than you'd expect. One commenter said, he handled it way calmer than I would. Another said, the fact she didn't understand made it hard to be mad at her. One even pointed out how he called her baby even after destroying all of it. Guess you could say this prank may have had a nice ending, unlike the next one that literally tore a family apart. At some point in time, a couple came up with the idea to create a YouTube channel where they pranked their five children and showed bits and pieces of their lives in the form of vlogs to random people on the internet. They called this channel Daddy05. At first, their content was wholesome and innocent. They occasionally did very harmless pranks on their children and made their vlogs like normal people. But at some point, that just didn't seem to be enough. Daddy05 thought the more intensely the kids react to the pranks, the more interesting they will be and the more views they'll get. For some time, he was on the money. However, the viewers were not having it. Their fans, basically all of YouTube, started to see how much trauma Daddy05 put their children through in the name of pranks. The couple got called out so much that Child Protective Services started investigating. Things, however, didn't escalate until Heather Martin, or Mommy05, pulled a prank on her son Cody that was so absurd the police had to step in. The idea was fairly simple. She would spill invisible ink on the carpets, and when Cody arrived, she would throw a tantrum. I bought this here, invisible ink, and I'm going to squirt it all over his carpet and start flipping out. Because um, you remember before, guys, you, you've seen our videos, you know, he got ink all over our carpet and we actually had to pay someone to come clean it. <clears throat> so we're going to make him think that he, did, <laughs> that he did it again and he's going to flip out because he really didn't do it. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. Whether she meant it or not, screaming at a child like this is not okay. What the fuck? What did you do? What? What the fuck? I didn't do that. What the hell is that? What the hell is, this? is that? What is this? Cody! Tell me. I didn't do that. You tell me what you did. I swear to God, I didn't do that. Cody. I didn't call on my apartment. I didn't do that. I don't have anything to call on my Why did you, you do that? that? As you would expect, the reaction to this prank was 100% negative. Not only was the like to dislike ratio atrocious, people started to call them out for child abuse. 
several YouTube videos came up calling out the parents for being borderline bad and abusive. The police soon started to investigate while Cody and his sister Emma were taken to their biological mother. In the end, Daddy05 was convicted of child neglect and placed on probation for about five years. Their account was also permanently taken down by YouTube. In retrospect, other YouTube pranksters have been taken down even before Daddy05, both in a literal sense and a figurative sense. For Reckless Youth, the prankster was literally taken down in some style. The group of pranksters usually went to ATMs around Sydney, pretending to rob people and waiting to see if bystanders would react. The victim is usually in on the prank, but the bystanders who intervene aren't. There's every chance it could go horribly wrong. Notwithstanding, for the most part, bystanders seem to care for each other in very subtle and wholesome ways. That was, of course, until someone punched the prankster in the face. Fuck. Jesus. Get the fuck off me. Get off me. Fuck. Jesus. Fuck. Fuck. Dude, come. It's a prank! It's a prank! It's a prank! Oh! <laughs> The punch connected so well that the prankster broke his nose. Imagine being sent to the hospital because of a simple joke. Barstool Sports recently recirculated the video with the caption, Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. They showed absolutely no remorse for the pranksters, just like the commenters under the post. One commenter said, zero sympathy for this stupidity. Another said, this was so satisfying to watch, more please. From the comments, it is evident that people are tired of immature pranksters invading people's spaces and getting away with it. Some immature pranksters, however, never got away with it. In fact, the only thing they walked away with was the greatest tragedy in pranking history, and maybe a few bullets. Tanner Cook is one of those pranksters. Tanner Cook is the 21-year-old behind the Classified Goons YouTube account. The YouTuber is known for conducting various pranks, like pretending to be mall security and accusing people of shoplifting, among other things. It was all fun and games until he tried to harass a delivery driver in the mall. The 6'5 prankster almost met his maker. Tanner took a bullet to the liver, but luckily managed to survive and even attend a court hearing. The shooter, who goes by Alan Cauley, was arrested and taken to court, but he pleaded not guilty and was acquitted of all charges by the jury as he acted in self-defense. After a brush with death like that, Tanner may never go back to making prank videos as he used to, but at least he has a chance to learn valuable lessons from his actions. The same, however, can't be said for Pedro Ruiz. This is more of a stunt than a prank. However, the consequences were so devastating that all traces of the stunt are nowhere to be found on the internet. For context, Pedro Ruiz and his girlfriend Mona Lisa Perez were teen parents who had a three-year-old daughter. The couple had been dating since Ruiz was 16 and Perez was 14, and they were expecting a son at the time of the incident. Perez was a stay-at-home mom, while Ruiz worked at a rail station. However, they had a YouTube channel where they posted about their daily lives and some mild experiments, like putting baby powder on a donut. At some point, Ruiz felt like making his own channel and kicking it off with a bang. Literally. He was going to have his girlfriend shoot a hardcover book with the most powerful handgun ever made while he held the book before him. This one might go into the Hall of Fame for one of the dumbest experiments ever cooked up by a YouTuber, but I guess in his defense, he tried it with another book and the bullet was actually stopped by the book. With this in mind, his girlfriend did as he asked and fired the gun, and she agreed. That obviously did not end well. This is how powerful a Desert Eagle really is. 
This is the pistol model used in the stunt. It's a mighty 50 caliber Desert Eagle. Just look at the damage two bullets did to this huge dictionary in our demonstration. They came right out the other side. The Desert Eagle 50 caliber is one of the most powerful handguns in the world. It, it's basically a rifle for one-handed shooting. This is how Ruiz's girlfriend was sentenced to six months in prison after she pleaded guilty to manslaughter. However, this isn't the only tragedy of the event. The 20-year-old stay-at-home mom lost the father of her children, as well as her partner, to a stupid YouTube stunt gone wrong. Similar could be said of Shirley Berry, who lost her grandson to another prank gone wrong. 20-year-old Timothy Wilkes also performed similar robbery pranks that many other YouTube pranksters perform. However, he was met with a tragedy the world would quickly hear about. According to police reports, Timothy and his partner approached a duo with butcher knives pretending to be robbers. Sadly for them, one of their victims was armed with a gun, which he fired without hesitation. Timothy and his partner had no time to reveal the prank before the shot was fired. While Timothy's family was grieving their loss, his grandmother wanted to make sure that Timothy served as a lesson to other children and parents to keep things in check. Please let this be a note to really check on what your children are doing. It needs to be an awareness now that this is very dangerous. In the end, she said she had no hard feelings against the shooter and did not press any charges. In the comments down below, let us know what you think of these pranksters and if there's an important prank that we might have missed.